Hello and welcome to my energy report for the month of June 2022. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. Okay, so in the year ahead, Tarot and Akashic reading that I did for the, um, the year of 2022, the card for June was the Queen of Cups. And I'm not going to repeat everything that I said about it because you can go back and watch it if you want for the details, but I'm just going to expand on the energy that I feel for this month now that we're here. So the Queen of Cups, just to summarize it a little bit, is um, it is a, it is the divine feminine mastery energy over our emotions and our psychic space. So the, um, the court cards, particularly the king queen, are master level cards for that particular suit, which the cups is emotions, psychic space, imagination, creativity, artistic. It's that very right brain realm. And the queen is the feminine mastery over it so to me she's like this wordless deep psychic nurturing healing it's this like it's this exalted beautiful empathic connection where we tap into a space within ourselves and amongst ourselves where in words are unnecessary information is communicated through like a heart-centered level of telepathy and i described it in the uh, 2022 year ahead reading as feeling like the whole month is going to feel like this beautiful mushroom trip and like the best mushrooms ones that just like you know, they don't give you the anxiety. They don't give you any of the weird buzzing. It's just this beautiful, fluid, melding energy and clarity of softening our boundaries and heart opening. And, you know, that, that space that we can get into with or without mushrooms. I'm not saying everybody needs to do mushrooms, but it's that space of like dialing into the moment and just seeing the infinite beauty on a granular level, like being present with the plants and with nature at such a beautiful time of year, present with our children, our partners, our friends, our loved ones, presence with ourselves in a way that is, it just feels like basking in deep love it feels like bliss bliss is the word for me for the month of june that is the energy moreover it feels like alignment is really easy in this month i i checked in with my astrologer just to see like am i like is this does this match with what's happening with the astrology and she indicated to me that um she feels really good about June. Venus is in Taurus, which is its home sign. So Venus is Venus is our feminine receptivity. Venus is very happy and comfortable in Taurus. Mars is in Aries, which is its home sign. So he is our, our action, our output in the world. He's in his home sign of like, like fast forward movement and clarity and decision and precision. And Jupiter is also in Aries, which is like bringing Mars an expansion, expansive ideas, um, expansive energy, kind of making all of our actions very aligned and very magnetic and effective. So, and then the the month of June, it borders Gemini and Cancer. So Gemini is like social and chatty. Uh, Mercury is going to start to go forward. It's going to leave its retrograde. And then the sun will go into Cancer, which is like soft, mushy, emotional melding and connection. And, and combine that with the beauty of the month of June, at least in the uh, Western Hemisphere, Northern Hemisphere northern hemisphere yes 
it's the summer here is what I'm saying. Summer starts in June. Uh, and we have the solstice. It's just going to be such a beautiful month. And I've been talking about this quantum leap in the collective consciousness that uh, I've been observing. I mean, I don't want to put words in all of your mouths, but that is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling these like huge leaps in our understanding of who we are, what's going on here, the actual texture of reality, all of the things. We, we are not the same consciousness that we were five years ago, even two years ago. There has been so much growth and expansion. And hand in hand with that is the expansion and uncovering of our psychic abilities. So what I'm feeling for the month of June is a really sweet, empathic connection. It's almost like our boundaries will dissolve the boundaries between us. And as always, I'm really speaking to those who are awakened already. Even if you're brand new on your awakening path, that counts for all of us who understand ourselves as souls and understand, even if we don't have all the answers, that there's more going on here in this reality than what we were taught is going on here in this reality. So I, I, when I feel into the energy, I don't want to say I predict, but I guess that's what I'm doing. But I foresee, I sense that we're going to ex experience a dissolving of our boundaries that is it's like a sample of what what is true for us and what is possible for us so it's a dissolving of our boundaries but a in the absence of codependence right so boundaries are important of course because that is how we know you know how we individually feel what we individually desire what is in alignment for us when we are when we have poor boundaries and it's coming from a place of trauma that's not what i'm talking about that's where we kind of like oh we outsource our power and our authority to others because of our trauma experience but i'm talking about a dissolving of our boundaries where we can just look at each other and no words need to be spoken we can feel each other and receive you know the guidance to reach out and you know with no concern about time or space like <clears throat> receiving messages like just the knowing and not from a state of urgency but just like oh this person has crossed my mind is in my thoughts I'm gonna send them a message and that message is like the perfect thing that they needed to hear and none of it was coming from scarcity none of it was coming from urgency there's no manipulation behind it it's just a very pure vibration very pure motivations beautiful beautiful frequency it feels like a deep cherishing of each other and an ability to really tap into the blessings of our current experience. You know, I realize that a lot of the time when we hear about like, like hashtag blessed and um, having a gratitude journal, et cetera, or writing gratitude lists and things like that, it can, it can just sound over emphasize like we've heard about it too much and it and it starts to sound like an instagram trend um you know and it's like tantamount to having a wall hanging that says live laugh love or whatever right but like live laugh love fuck you know seriously <laughs> have a gratitude practice seriously be immersed in the blessings and the bliss of your day-to-day -day experience, the perfection of the weather, the blueness of the sky, the breeze, the smell of the trees and the flowers and bloom, the joy of like hot sticky days in the city while you go get a cold drink with your friends, the 
the joys of your puppy licking your face in the morning when you're waking up and like, you know, the minor irritation, like, ah, oh, I'm having a good sleep. I just want to stay in bed, but mm, I love you so much. And all that, all that beautiful mushy stuff that we've kind of been traumatized into having like a degree of cynicism around that stuff is coming to the forefront, but in this like hyper technicolor, vivid textured quality, that's just like, it just pops. It's so delicious, it's so delicious and sensuous. And all we fucking have to do for the month of June is be in it and receive it and understand that like, this is actually it. This is what it's about. It's the softening of, this is why it reminds me of a mushroom trip, the, the energy of June. It's like, you know, when you get into that happy place, if you're microdosing or macrodosing or mini dosing, whatever, but you, you just start to get into that early sweet spot where you're like, you feel all the muscles, everything just kind of relax, your nervous system relaxes and you're just like, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Everything is so beautiful and perfect. And like the anxieties that I feel around, you know, my performance at work or my performance in my business or my financial circumstances or my performance in my relationships or whatever, like all those anxieties just kind of like melt away and disappear. They just, they just relax, they ease off, you know? That's what June just naturally is energetically, like with or without the actual imbibing of mushrooms. June has this, this sweetness that kind of like, it feels actually like a portal to me into a new season, which it literally is obviously because the solstice happens in June. But as I'm, I'm sensing into it right now, it's like a portal into, oh, oh, oh this is what it is. <clears throat> so the first half of 2022 was a little bit like, what the fuck? It was, you know, the first quarter was certainly we, we had a lot of stuff come up. We had experiences of like memories coming back to be processed and released, a sort of a sense of aimlessness, a reset. I talked about it in previous videos, but like having kind of a walk-in experience and um, feeling like there's a new phase that we were stepping into and yet not having all the information. The first quarter felt like almost like a blank, like, just whoosh, clean away all the old stuff. There's a blank space now and it is, it's a blank canvas. It's going to be filled with the new things. And then we went into Q2 and April started to feel like, huh, oh, magic is coming in. Things are aligning. Ideas are coming in, information, um, connections, channeling, you know, like it, well, at least that's how it felt for me because that's how I interpret my whole life. Creativity, manifestation, like really, stuff started moving again, the energy started to pick up speed and May just like expanded on that. And it, in, you know, I keep talking about this quantum leap in consciousness, like, holy fuck, we are breaking through a threshold. We are breaking through a glass ceiling in our consciousness that has not been experienced on the collective level in, I don't know how long, cause I don't actually know how long this, whole human thing has been happening truly uh but it's been a long time like I don't believe it's in living memory and I don't believe it's even like been within like recorded civilized semi-civilized history not on the collective level okay I I'm certainly not saying that nobody has achieved these levels of consciousness before and I certainly believe that there are a lot of indigenous groups that just naturally operate um and have operated at, at this level of consciousness, but collectively in the human awareness, this is a new level of consciousness. 
and it's a big deal and it's very exciting and it the quantum leap is not over what happens is that like incrementally we were kind of going like we we're making these little baby steps you know a oh, oh, little bit little bit little bit and then all of a sudden in may it was like boof and then henceforth it's gonna be like boof 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 like these big steps these big advancements anyway and june feels like a portal obviously to the second half of the year and to an entirely new season um but when I say it feels like a portal, it's like oh, this month of sweetness and bliss and ultra alignment to set us up to move forward very intentionally from through like from July through to December, meaning like it's not like July through December they're going to have their own flavors, but it's not going to be so much of a, like, no, we're just, you know, we're just here. We're just waking up and having another day. We're just doing our thing. Um, just kind of keeping up and going through the motions. It's, I feel that there's going to be a level of intentionality that really clarifies to all those who resonate with me and need to hear this message from me. There are a lot of people doing energy forecasts and for a while I resisted doing them or I would kind of like half do them and half not do them because I was like, oh, there's already so many. And then I realized, you know what? The energy forecasts are often saying very different things. And why is that? It's not because, you know, anybody's getting it right or anybody's getting it wrong. It's because there are different energy bandwidths available. There are different frequencies available and different energy forecasters are tuning into and translating different ones for different groups of people that they are kind of contracted to connect with. So I'm speaking to you, okay? I'm speaking to you. Your level of intentionality is going to be very clear from July to December. You're going to feel like, oh, I'm not fucking around anymore. Like we're not playing around. We're not messing around. There is something that I need to do and I need to get on it and start doing it. Like no longer sort of cycling around in the eddies of our own internal bullshit and our own internal fears and limitations, but like this is happening now. And I'm not necessarily saying it's going to hit like a ton of bricks in July. I actually think it's going to, we're really going to start to feel it in September, but the it's almost like June is this, like, we've planted the seeds and the work is done. And now for a period, we're just going to experience what it means to just be, just be and relax those senses of performance and obligation and that you know, out of alignment, yang, um, wounded masculine doing energy, which is probably ultra supported by what I said about Venus being in her home sign of receptivity and just being like the empress, like, like, oh, bring it, let those sun codes fall on my skin, let the breeze just like, you know, cool me off, let me just be in my own Eden, in my own paradise. And meanwhile, Mars is like, yeah, I'm not in the wounded masculine anymore. I really don't need to do just for doing sake. I will do the things that need doing. It's like the, the perfect exalted balance between the divine feminine, divine masculine energies as they express themselves through us. So it's that beautiful permission to being like enjoy your ice cream enjoy the fresh strawberries enjoy like all the goodness because there's so much oh my god there's so much we take so much for granted it's wild so much there in every moment the the present moment is infinite and it will yield richness to you only to the degree that you can be present in its depth, you know? So in the moment, if you are somebody who 
is very preoccupied with your to-do list, your monkey mind is kind of running the show or whatever, you're only going to see a very surface level. You're only going to experience a very surface level um, of information that is actually surrounding you in the, pre the present moment. But if you can chill that shit out, which I believe we are all going to get a break from that in June. So if you can lean into that and receive it and know that like your to-do list can wait and Mars is in support of you getting the shit done that actually has to get done, but you can like, you can lounge around. You can just like set a blanket up on the grass and take a book and just like lie there. Not only can you do that, but that is actually a productive way to be for the month of June. That's harnessing the energy and using it to your greatest advantage. It is like creating a template and a reset and a restructuring to our nervous system, a recoding to our nervous system that is going to allow us to move forward from July onward through this year with a lot of intention like great clarity is gonna come through in the month of June. Great clarity of our actual desires and priorities. So, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if for myself and for a lot of us, things that we thought we wanted to manifest just kind of fall away. We're just like, I don't actually need that. Like, I'm okay, I'm actually okay. It's not a level of giving up on it and being like, it's not working. Guess it's just not in the cards for me. It's not that at all. It's like, you know, I'm good. I feel really good for myself. As I record this, it is May 30th for myself. I already felt that yesterday. That was a, like, I think it was a herald to allow me to be in this energy and really describe it. But yesterday I went to the beach with my kids um, and let my husband stay home by himself and have some personal mental space, work on his project car. Um, I took them to my favorite beach and we just sat there and blissed out for like about six and a half hours. It was, it was wonderful. They just played happily and quietly. It was so much fun watching, like this was William's first time, um, at the beach as a having a degree of self-awareness because he was born in July last year. So he was, he was a beach baby, but he was tucked in my wrap. <laughs> he didn't know he was at the beach is what I'm saying. So this year was, this was his first time knowing he was at the beach and you know, watching him pick up the sand and like, like what's supposed to eat it? Just like looking at it. And then he would like, you know, belly slide into the sand and then just put his, head down on it and just watching him enjoy the tactile sensory somatic experience of being at the beach and then watching my daughter just freely playing and the dappling of the light between the leaves because we sat in some shade and the sound of the waves and other children laughing everything was so freaking beautiful and I was like this is what June is. This is what June is. And this is what it's supposed to be. And in that, in those moments, I was like, wow, those goals that I had that felt really important yesterday, they're just not important. And again, it wasn't from an energy of wanting to give up. It was just like, I can see in this moment that my energy is not well spent in pursuing those goals. I can let them go. I don't need those things. And you know what? Probably in that space, those things will come into my world very quickly because I have no codependent attachment to them. I don't need them. I'm not trying for them. I'm not chasing them. I'm not expending my energy. And yet, I know I can feel in the month of June as well that forward progress will be made, um, which is supported by Aries being in Mars and Jupiter being in, no, Mars being in Aries and Jupiter being in Aries. 
like things are still going to happen, but they will happen in a beautiful alignment that resets us to what is actually important. I also really believe that this is like, this is one of those months that is a lot of us are going to feel like we are literally straddling the 3D and the 5D, like literally one foot in one world, one in the other. Um, and it is that space of like, everything is perfect. Everything is so beautiful. It's not a coming from your head in the sand. We can actually look at and witness things that are happening and acknowledge them and feel no need to change anything or to rescue anyone, there's no need. There is no need. It's all in perfection. So, I mean, that's about all I have to say about June. I just, I hope that you hear me and I hope that you take it as permission to just be in that bliss state. And that like, again, it's not just giving you permission because we hear about that a lot. And I think people are right when they're talking about it. But I also know as a mother of two young children who has her own business and, you know, a house and a garden and all the things that th it can feel really hard to apply that. It can feel really hard. It feels like almost sometimes like yeah, well, it might be nice for you to just sit around and do nothing all day, but I have all these, all this shit that I have to get done and blah, 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 right? Like that happens to me too. But so it's not just permission to do it, but it's like, I hope that you can receive and acknowledge as I'm saying this, that that is the most productive way to be. That is the best leveraging of the energy of this month. It will bear fruit through the rest of your year and beyond if you let yourself relax and enjoy all of the sumptuously textured pleasure and joy available to you in your present current life that you have cultivated it will bear fruit it will bear manifestations it will bear clarity it will bear psychic development it will bear mission activation it will bear inspiration and ideas and like aligned action will come from this place as we move forward i feel that we will be very intentional but it will be from a total clarity of alignment that that was cultivated in the month of june that allows us to move forward with with so much ease because we know where we're going and what we need to do all right and i'm going to do a um collective light activation light language attunement <clears throat> so let me see what they are wanting me to bring through today Thing. I'm gonna have to feel what it is after it comes out. Okay. E firio te atura finatio silaun ihiria ochi ik o te arwa. E tunio si e firo te ar. E carwa ina ir ish doi. E firio te arwa iniria atoi. I kur nishin in nish i toi e te a i nurio i na i binua a se oi. I tirio fe ki orio ta a tira ot un irio ke an irio os on ik a toi o ini a or bisder har iri a ir a Itorio isano iriato afnin alwa. Itor ij der ke arote an. Fir fir itina a ito oi si doroa. Firio te ir ki anote ar i. Si atra na oi ti ka roa toi. Si orio te ar i kina oi te a vira. Binia od. Teria or, ifna ita, 
follow it, they are. That feels like a holographic central sun gateway portal to align us with a clarity of consciousness that allows us to see the illusion, see the actual fabric of the illusion, the pixelation of the illusion, and allows us to move like water, like crystal clear water through and around constructs created by the fabric of the illusion that we can dissolve it. So this might be connecting in uh, with the holographic central sun um, through the gateway portal of this activation and attunement to deliver um, energetic healings, to deliver messages of clarity, to see a situation with clarity that previously was a little bit cloudy for us and to be able to hold a frequency of its, um, of the truth, of the right, right relationship of it. I hope that this energy report serves you. I hope you all have the most beautiful month. Please feel free to comment on this video and tell me about how your month is going. Let me know if it resonates with you. I love you so much. I appreciate you being here so much. It's going to be a beautiful one. And I will see you next month for another video energy report update.